Hey, 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 it's me, Dawn Fields, and this is your Every Prayer Answer Podcast. All right, all right, all right. You were created by God for a special purpose, and that's what we're going to focus on today. God created you to be you. Now, most of us, we grow up and we don't be who we were created to be. We be who the world tells us we should be or who the world tells us we can't be. We settle for things that we believe we sh- that we believe the world tells us. And we shouldn't. The world is not our friend. The world is not on our side. God is on our side. And when you learn to live according to God's purpose, everything in your life will flow easily and effortlessly. And that starts with you knowing who you are and knowing what your purpose is. See, each of us was given a purpose. It's it's in our, it's coded in our so-called DNA <laughs> that we have uh, abilities to do something. We're supposed to serve people in a certain way. God put us here to do that special thing. So once you find that thing, he is going to line everything up so that you can have and do and be the thing that you designed to be. And then you don't have to worry about the stresses of the world. Now, the world goes out of its way to make sure that we don't align ourselves with God's purpose because the world is not our friend. The world is owned and created and run by the adversary of the most high. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So it's run, it's incongruent. It doesn't lie, it's not incongruent with anything that's positive for your life. It's to keep you focused on everything else except your purpose. It's it's keep you focused on everything except God. So we have to do the opposite. We have to do what the creators created us to do. So today I'm going to share with you um, five tips for finding God's purpose for your life. Because once you find your purpose, then you can start living the life that you're designed to live. Most of us, you know, we grow up in school. um, School teaches us to go to college and get a job. That's the entire purpose of school. Get a job, get a job, get a job. So they brainwash this into your program view to believe in you got to go get a job, get a job, get a job. And you, if you don't get a job, if you don't go to college, you're not going to be a success in life. So what happens, a lot of people get out of high school and they can't afford to go to college. So they just, you know, they also you, you, you program your parents to kick you out the house at 18. Like 18, you're supposed to be on your own where you have no experience and no anything. You're just supposed to be out on your own at 18. So what happens is people go out and they get jobs as um, at at Walmart or they go get a job at um, some factory at some driving a forklift and mm-hmm. not making them any kind of money. So then they get inside this uh, mm-hmm. continuous uh, hamster wheel because if you don't make enough money, you're not going to be able to really move back. You're going to make enough money to do something. So make enough money, maybe you get a car, but now you got to keep working this job so you can keep paying the insurance. And you're not going to really make enough to get an apartment, but maybe you get a roommate, you get an apartment. So now you have to keep working this job because now you have this bill that you have to pay. And that's how we get into this endless cycle of doing things that not to our best interest. But if you find your purpose, you find the reason God sent you here, then everything else will kind of flow for you. You don't have to, you're not going to be stressed. It's not going to be something that's not going to give you, make allow you to make a living. So today we're going to focus on Five tips to finding the purpose for your life, okay? So the first tip, number one, is what are you most interested in? Because the thing that is going to be your purpose is going to be something that you're interested in. It's going to be something that you're excited about. It's something that you can talk about all the time, and you don't even have to um, you're gonna, you know, you don't have to go to school for it. It's just gonna be something that's in you, and because it's in you, you're gonna seek out knowledge about it. You're gonna want to find out, you know, how do I do this? How do I do that? And it's just gonna be something that you just do. Um, I, I, I remember I seen my my son was interested in music, and I seen how he just was seeking out all this different stuff about music because he was interested in it. I seen um same thing with my my husband. Husband used to he was a DJ and he and that's probably how my son liked the music thing because all his life he heard the music. But I saw him go from you know just having an interest in it to really seeking out so much stuff to um surround yourself with that. And that's what happens when it's something that when it's your purpose, you are going to automatically be drawn to. 
So what is it that you're interested in the most? What is it that you can, you know, you get excited about or you want to learn about? If there's something in your life like that, then that, that more than likely is going to be on your path towards finding your purpose. Number two is what could you do all day long, even if you were not being paid to do it and you don't get bored with it and you like to share it with other people? Like I had a cousin who used to play video games all day. Him and his father used to play video games all day. And when he was old enough, he got a job working with people who make video games. And he makes a really great uh, six up six figure income <laughs> by playing video games. So what is it that you enjoy doing and what you can do all day long and without anybody, you know, without ever being paid for it, you just still will do it anyway. Something that gets you so excited that you feel like this. Now imagine getting out of bed every morning feeling like that because you're that excited about what you were getting up to do. And that's what you should be. You should be that excited because what you're doing is helping other people. Whatever it is that you're doing, you're helping other people. You're serving other people to help them with the problem that they have. You're helping them solve a problem or an issue. Okay. And number, the next one, number three, what magazines do you gravitate towards? Let's say if you walked into a Barnes and Noble, this is their problem <laughs> Everything goes up nowadays. Who knows? You walk into a Barnes and Noble. What magazines are you instantly drawn to? What are you picking up and reading and flipping through and thumbing through? Usually, that's an indication of something that you're interested in. And if you find out what it is that you're interested in, what you like to learn about, what you like to read about, then you'll be able to find out things that you'll be more in line with your purpose, things that you enjoy doing. Step number four, mm -hmm. or tip number four is what do your friends and family say you are good at doing? Now, a lot of times we don't see the things that we're good at because it's us. So we don't, we just think it's natural. We just think everybody is good at doing this certain thing. But the truth is everybody's not. You have a talent, you have a blessing, you have it, it's in your DNA. So a lot of times our friends and family can pick up on the things that we're good at doing and they can point it out to us when we may not be able to point out the things that we're doing. Like I always like to write. And my family was always coming to me to, could you put together my resume? Could you write this letter to my boss? Could you write this letter to this person or that person? I was all my girlfriends. You go, oh, I need to, could you write an email for me? I need to say blah, 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 blah. So my talent is in, in writing. So a lot of my family and friends come to me, ask me to do these type of things. So what is it that your friends and family uh, ask you to do that you probably... Um, just naturally do, and they appreciate it. So those are things, talents that you have. And tip number five is to pray on it. Ask God for guidance. Why not go to the source? All you got to do is pray on it. Ask God, you know, what is what am I here? What is my purpose? Can you make it clear, make it plain, and make it simple? Let me know what my purpose is. And more than likely, he will put it on your heart or lead you in the right direction on where it is that you need to go in order to find your purpose. Now, the thing is, we at, it doesn't really matter what age you are. It's time that you start living your purpose because once you start living your purpose, that's going to give you the ability to start creating your finances. That's what's going to get you over that hump. That's what's going to help de uh, develop kingdom wealth. Because, see, we need everybody to live their purpose so that we can start counteracting the world system. We need to get out of the world system and into God's system. And the only way we can do that is if our people, God's children, start learning what it is that they were sent here to do and start doing it. Start living your life with purpose. Get out of the world system and get into godly system. Start building wealth for the kingdom because the world is not your friend. <laughs> the kingdom of God is your friend. So it's best that you start building kingdom wealth and start living your life according to what God sent you here to do. Okay, so let's go find something that we're good at doing. Let's get excited about it like this lady here. Hold on, hold on. Let's
let's get excited because it's time to get excited because it's time to start living your life with purpose. My name is Dawn Fields and this is your Every Prayer Answered podcast because it's time to start getting all your prayers answered. Love you. See you next time.